Welcome to the Trend Micro Deep Security 10 for Administrators video series. This collection of videos provides an overview of tasks that may be required as part of your work as an administrator in Deep Security Manager. In this video lesson, we will demonstrate the installation of Deep Security Manager on a Windows Server computer. While the installation of the software is not typically an administrative task, this demonstration will provide an overview of the process and highlight which information is required to complete the setup wizard. Deep Security can be deployed to protect your network in a few different ways. It can be deployed as installed software. In this case, you can buy Deep Security software and install it on a local Windows or Linux server, on an Amazon Web Services instance, or on an Azure Virtual Machine. Deep Security can also protect virtual machines on a single VMware server or VMware images through ESXi. Deep Security can also be deployed as a service. Deep Security as a Service delivers a complete set of security capabilities for cloud workloads through a software as a service model. When Deep Security is deployed as a service, you have nothing to install or configure and all updates and security data are stored for you. You also only pay for what you use through usage-based pricing. Deep Security can also be deployed through a cloud marketplace. A cloud marketplace is an online storefront operated by the cloud service provider that helps their customers easily find and buy software and services that are built on, integrate with, or complement the cloud provider's offerings. In the Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure marketplaces, Deep Security is available as a software piece and as a service which customers can purchase. When purchasing Deep Security through the Marketplace, service fees conveniently show up on the respective Marketplace bill without the need for a separate invoice specific for Deep Security. In this video example, we will be installing Deep Security Manager on a Web Server 2008 computer located on-premise. Prior to installing Deep Security Manager, you should review the following conditions to ensure that all the necessary permissions, ports, and other settings are in place for the Deep Security Manager installation. You must have administrator or root privileges on the computers where you will be installing Deep Security software components. You will require Deep Security activation codes for the protection modules and a separate activation for multi-tenancy if you wish to implement it. VMware licenses will also be required for VMware components. All computers running Deep Security software should be synchronized with a reliable time source such as an NTP server. A supported database must be installed and a database server hostname, database name, database administrator username and a database administrator password must be available. A deployment requires at least one deep security relay. A relay is a deep security agent with relay functionality enabled. Relays are used to keep the protection on your deep security agents and virtual appliances up to date. Trend Micro recommends installing a relay-enabled agent on the same computer as Deep Security Manager to protect the host computer and to function as a local relay. To receive email alerts from Deep Security Manager, you will need to supply your SMTP server IP address. Deep Security Manager uses port 25 by default for connections to the SMTP server. Deep Security Manager will need to connect to the Trend Micro update servers over the internet. If a proxy is needed for internet access in your environment, you will need to supply your proxy server address, port, and login credentials as part of the Deep Security installation process. Fully qualified domain names can be used for communication between Deep Security Manager and relay-enabled agents, agents and appliances, and hypervisors. 
For proper communication, ensure that each of your computers can resolve the host name of the Deep Security Manager computer and a relay-enabled agent. You will be asked to enter the Deep Security Manager host name as part of the installation process. If you do not have a DNS, you can enter the Deep Security Manager host IP address. And finally, you must download the necessary software before you can begin the installation. Once you are confident that all the items on the checklist have been looked after, you can proceed to the installation. Let's begin the installation process of Deep Security Manager by downloading the setup package from the Download Center. In your web browser, type the URL of the appropriate download center, and note that the tabs indicate the different version numbers that are available. For version 10, there is a package which is available for installing Deep Security Manager on Linux computers, for example, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or Windows Server, and this includes Windows Server 2008, 2012, and 2016. From the list, select your appropriate operating system and click Download. Note that a new tab is now available in the Download Center called Feature Releases. Deep Security Feature Releases are interim releases that provide early access to new Deep Security functionality and are made available at regular intervals between major releases. By installing Feature Releases, organizations can immediately benefit from new functionality without having to wait for the next major release of Deep Security. Feature releases meet the same quality and release criteria as major releases and are intended for use in production environments. Feature releases are comprised of new versions of Deep Security Manager and Agents. The new Deep Security Manager is compatible with both the old and the older versions of Deep Security Agents. However, new features in a major release may require that both the new Deep Security Manager and new Deep Security Agents are used. While several product releases may become available between major releases, the functionality included in feature releases is cumulative and is ultimately rolled into the next major release. New major releases continue to be made available on an annual basis and include new functionality and enhancements for existing functionality. If your organization is constrained to longer adoption cycles, wait for the next major release to benefit from the new functionality available in the feature releases. You can easily distinguish between major releases and feature releases by the version number. Major releases use the following versioning pattern. In this case, version 10.0 is the GM release version number. In this case, dot .1 is the feature release version, and these will be released regularly during the product's lifecycle. And finally, the maintenance release version. And the maintenance release versions will be released as needed during the product lifecycle. Deep security feature releases have shorter lifecycle than major releases. Organizations should upgrade to the next major release when it becomes available or risk running a non-supported version of Deep Security. To ease the challenges of scheduling the upgrade in a production environment, support for feature releases is provided for six months after the next major release is made available. Feature releases do not affect the full life cycle and support models of the major release versions, which will continue to receive hotfixes and maintenance updates as usual. In this demonstration, let's download the newest feature release for Windows. Click Download and save the file to the desktop. You'll notice here that a confirmation is going to be presented to remind you that you're downloading a feature release and not a major release. Once the setup program file has been saved to the target computer, 
double click the installation application to begin the setup wizard. Click Run. Select a language for the installation. In this example, we'll select English and click OK. And the welcome dialog box is displayed. Click Next to begin the setup wizard. If you agree to the terms of the license agreement, click I accept the terms of the Trend Micro license agreement and click Next. Specify the folder on the hard drive where you would like Deep Security Manager to be installed and click Next. In this case, I'll leave it as the default location. Specify the details of the database that you're going to be using with Deep Security Manager. The database must be created before beginning the Deep Security Manager installation. In our example, a Microsoft SQL Express database has been configured as part of the environment. Select the appropriate database and enter the host name and database instance name. And if you're using SQL Server, identify the transport method that's used. Type the database administrator name and the password that was assigned to this administrator when the database instance was created, and click Next. The Readiness Check dialog box is displayed. This verification tool will confirm that the deployment components such as operating system, system memory, and database are supported by this version of Deep Security. When displayed, click Start Readiness Check and the setup routine will verify the compatibility with the components on your system. In this example, the Deep Security Manager host operating system of Windows Server 2008 R2 is supported. The host memory is 8 gigabytes, which is supported. The Deep Security Manager host disk space is 51 gigabytes, which is sufficient for the installation. In this example, the Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express Edition will be used at the database. This version is supported, but only for deployments with 50 managed computers or less with restricted security configurations. The Express Edition should never be used for a commercial deployment, but should be adequate for our demonstration. Once the readiness check is complete, click Install Deep Security Manager. Enter the activation codes for the individual modules for which you have purchased a license. You can proceed without entering any codes, but none of the protection modules will be available for use until you do. You can enter your first or additional codes after the installation through the Deep Security Manager web console. In this example, we're going to be activating all of the protection modules, so I'm going to enter an activation code and then click Next. Type the details of the Deep Security Manager server computer, including the host name and the communication ports that are going to be used. In this case, the default manager port is 4119, and this is the port that will be used to communicate with Deep Security Manager through the Deep Security Manager web console, and the heartbeat port, which is 4120. Click Next. Type the username and password for the Master Administrator account. The Master Administrator will be the initial administrator in Deep Security Manager and will have the permissions required to create other administrative users. A default name of Master Admin is presented and you can accept it or type in an alternate name and type in a password for this particular administrator. By default, strong passwords would be enforced, and in this scenario, your passwords must include letters and numbers, upper and lowercase characters, and non-alphanumeric characters. I'm going to disable strong passwords and click Next. Select a security update configuration. 
In this case, we're going to create a scheduled task to regularly check for security updates. When this is selected, Deep Security Manager will automatically retrieve the latest security updates from Tread Micro and distribute them to your Deep Security agents and Deep Security virtual appliances. You can configure security updates later using the Deep Security Manager web console. Let's click Next to accept the default schedule. Select a software update configuration next. Click Create Schedule Task to regularly check for software updates. When selected, Deep Security Manager will automatically retrieve the latest software updates from Trend Micro and distribute them to your Deep Security agents and Deep Security virtual appliances. You can configure software updates later using the Deep Security Manager web console. Accept the default schedule task and click Next. If a Deep Security Agent installation package is available either in the same folder as the Deep Security Manager setup or from the Trend Micro Download Center, you will be given the option to install a co-located relay-enabled Deep Security Agent on this computer. Deep Security requires at least one relay to download and distribute security and software updates. I'm going to accept the default, which is to install a relay enabled agent on my Deep Security Manager computer and click Next. Select whether you want to enable Trend Micro Smart Feedback. When enabled, your installation contributes to the Trend Micro Smart Protection Network. Enabling feedback improves analysis, identification, and prevention of new threats. You can enable or configure smart feedback later in the Deep Security Manager web console. Optionally, enter the industry your organization belongs to by selecting it from the drop-down list and click Next. Finally, confirm the settings you provided and click Install. The setup wizard will proceed with the installation operations. Once complete, click Finish to close the wizard. If Launch the Deep Security Manager console is enabled, a web browser will be launched displaying the console sign-in page. When Deep Security Manager was configured, a key pair was created to secure communications. The public portion of the key pair was self-signed by Deep Security Manager and as a result will display a warning message in the web browser. You can get rid of these messages by installing the public portion of the key pair into the store on the administrator's computer or you can generate a new key pair and have the public portion of the key pair signed by a trusted certification authority. In this example, I'm just going to continue to the website to bring up the sign-in dialog box, and I'm going to authenticate to Deep Security Manager Web Console with the credentials that I assigned during the installation routine. The Deep Security Manager Web Console is displayed. Deep Security Manager is set up as a service under Windows. Click Start administrative tools and go to the services item. In the list of services, locate the Trend Micro Deep Security Manager service and notice that it is started and it is set to automatic startup. This concludes the demonstration of the installation of Deep Security Manager on a Windows Server computer. Be sure to return to view more videos in the Trend Micro Deep Security 10 for Administrators video series.